Sources of Sound Human voice is the most common source of sound. It is produced by larynx. The larynx consists of cartilages and muscles. It contains two stretchable vocal cord tissues. The muscles around the neck pull these vocal cords whenever we speak. Hence, they vibrate and produce sound. Different people have vocal cords of different size and thus have different sound quality. Sound produced by a person also depends upon the shape of the mouth, lips and tongue movements, teeth structure, etc. Usually, the larynx is bigger in males than in females. Did you know? Dogs can hear sound at a higher frequency than humans, allowing them to hear noises that we can't. Snakes do not have ears, but their tongues are sensitive to sound vibrations. String instruments are instruments in which vibrations in stretched metal wires called strings produce musical sounds. The frequency of vibration can be changed by changing the thickness, tightness and length of the strings. Sitar, guitar, violin and veena are a few examples. In wind instruments, the vibrations in air columns produce sound. The frequency is varied by changing the length of the vibrating air columns. Flute, shenai, clarinet and nadaswaram are a few examples. In wind instruments, a shorter air column produces a shrill note of higher frequency than a longer air column. In sum, wind is blown in through reeds. Such instruments are known as reed instruments. Examples include harmonium, mouth organ and nadaswaram. Percussion instruments are instruments in which vibrations of a stretched skin produce sound. The frequency of vibration can be increased by stretching the skin more. Tabla, drums, and Ridhingram are a few examples. Human voice and musical instruments are two important sources of sound. Human voice is produced by the larynx or voice box. Musical instruments are further classified into string instruments, wind instruments and percussion instruments. Wind instruments in which wind is blown through reeds are called reed instruments. 